Welcome back. All right, so we're up to number 30 on the all-time power rankings. And again, this is on the channel's all-time power rankings, not all-time throughout the entire team's history because that would be crazy. I haven't done that yet. Anyways, um, I'm not going to say that I'm not going to because, you know, it's, it's possible. Now, Arizona is the first one that when you look at the graph, there's some promising signs. And they've had some good runs over the years. It just hasn't been sustained. And this year, it feels like maybe this is the year that there's not necessarily a sustained push to the playoffs, but to stay in the race. So being 30th overall, but if you look at the numbers, again, there's some encouragement. Their average this season, 21.07. Their best average was 2019-2020, which was 13.78. They had a decent year. Uh, they were fifth once. They were 25th once on that list uh, and, or in that season. Uh, this year, the lowest they've been is 25th three times. That is the highest number or the lowest number, technically the highest they've been for the, at their lowest. You guys know what I mean, right? At their lowest, it's still not as bad as it has been in previous seasons. So for Arizona, there's reason to think things are perking up. Uh, their peak this year, twice they've been 16th. Uh, they were 18th once back in 2020-2021. They were 12th once back in 2018-2019 and 17th once in 2017-2018. They would get off to really bad starts and then have decent runs in the second half of the season that pushed them up the power rankings. Uh, I do remember people arguing with me, Arizona's way too high, but they were playing well. They were just nowhere near the playoff race is the problem, um, which then gets you into the argument of, okay, so, but if they were in the playoff race, would the other teams have played better? Would they maybe lost those games? Yeah, there's that whole argument that's out there. Their top scorer over this period, Clayton Keller, 484 games played, 152 goals, 230 assists, 382 points, one of the more underrated players in the league, I believe. Darcy Kemper, when you're looking at wins, has been their best goalie. 55, 48, and 15, 920 save percentage. Uh, Darcy Kemper, his career turned around in Arizona, and, uh, you know, good on him. So, uh, Kemper was part of that team that made their last playoff appearance in 2020, and that was because they knocked off Nashville in the qualifying round. Uh, otherwise, if not for the 2020 expanded playoffs, it'd be a while since we've seen playoff hockey around the Coyotes, which is part of the reason why attendance has been low with this team. This team has struggled. I think they've struggled to find an identity at times. I think they're doing pretty well right now, though. Uh, their overall points percentage over this time, 461 is 27th overall. So that's a number that's not necessarily great. I should get into the rows as well. So their average is 23.61. Uh, they've been in the top row eight times, the second row 12 times, third row 52 times, and the bottom row 85 times. So more of a chance of seeing them in the bottom than at the top, but again, that's why we're starting at the bottom. Uh, the most recent power rankings that I'm using for this, of course, is January 20th. At the time this posts, it'll be January 27th, and I'll or 28th, and I'll apologize from then on, but again, I had to have an end date, and it didn't work with the 27th, unless you think... I'm going to make 32 videos after the January 27th power rankings before we leave at 5 o'clock on Sunday. It's just, it doesn't work. So anyways, um, it, it's been something to watch this team fighting its way through and, and struggling uh, in Phoenix first and then in Glendale. Uh, now they're in a college arena or university arena and the question becomes, where are they headed? Where is the arena going? I'm hoping that while I'm on my vacation down to California, and by vacation, I mean I'm still making videos while I'm down there, I just pre-record so I don't have to worry as much about how much content I'm necessarily producing. I'll just do news videos and preview recap kind of stuff too. Uh, but yeah, so I hope that there's an announcement that they've got a, a plot of land in Phoenix and this is where they're gonna be, or that something in Scottsdale worked out, whatever, right? Arena, arena, arena. I couldn't put any other needs up there. I feel like on the ice, they're trending in the right direction. They've got all the pieces they need, and any that they don't have are coming. And they're basically in their prospect pool. They also are going to have a ton of cap space coming up. So the only question mark I have with the Arizona Coyotes is the arena situation. And that's going to be the continuing argument. And, of course, the uh, discussion of, well, they should just move the team is always out there with Arizona. Once that arena's been announced and it's 100%, you know, it's it's happening, that should quiet that discussion down quite a bit. Uh, there will always be the naysayers that say, uh, forget it, just like any time my favorite team, the Canucks, are doing well, those naysayers will jump in and, and complain. 
uh, that, oh, they're not any good. I don't know why you think they're good. They're not any good because people just generally, there are some people who just don't like certain teams. And I think that's part of what it is with the Coyotes. Um, no matter what they do, they could sell out every game for five years in a brand new arena. People are still going to say, eh, just wait. People are going to get tired. They're going to stop going. So I do hope for Coyotes fans that the arena situation straightens itself out this month. And I mean in the month of January. And that we'll have some idea of what the plan is going forward for them. Because again, I don't feel like on the ice there's any need to talk about what they need because they're, they're there. Their goaltending tandem is all right. Their their defense is pretty good. Their forward group is not bad either. And again, they have uh, some good, solid young prospects coming up as well. And I think they draft pretty well. They've had a ton of draft picks. They have some more draft picks coming up. And then the rubber meets the road uh, soon in terms of the expectations will go up. And will they make it? Will they not? We'll see. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe in the event that you have not done so already. I forgive you for not doing so yet, but go ahead and do it now. Go ahead. Give it a shot. Go ahead. Try it. All right. Thank you guys so much for all your support, as always. I will talk to you again soon.